Number 17. Determine the oxidation states of the elements in the compounds listed, and none of the oxygen containing uh, compounds are peroxides or superoxides. And then we have letter E. We need to find out the oxidation states, aka the charges, of indium, IN, and sulfur, which is S, in the compound indium sulfide or IN2. Um, S3. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to write it big over here. So IN2S3. Now, remember back in the day, right, when we were just, uh, you know, just getting our feet wet with chemistry, we made compounds, right? And we always used the oxidation states to crisscross to get our compound, right? We would have some charge in the upper right-hand corner of one atom and then another charge, right? So let's just say that this was a minus three. And you crisscross them down to tell you what those subscripts were. Now we are doing the complete opposite here, right? We now have the subscripts. There's two indiums and three sulfurs. We're going to use that to crisscross back up to get the, the oxidation states. So this two really was sulfur's oxidation state. It's a negative two, right? Now I put a negative because remember, the last element is the negative one. The first one is always the positive. This three crisscrossed back up to tell me that indium was a plus three. So looks like I have some start, right? Tells me that I N indium was a plus three at, at the time, right? And then sulfur was a negative two. Now, always double check one of them to see if it matches with the trend that you guys should memorize of the oxidation states. If it matches, chances are that, you know, the other one is gonna match as well. Sulfur is right below oxygen. It's all the way over here. And look at that, right? Sulfur is in group 16 or 6A, but this group loves to be a negative two charge and that checks out, right? So if the sulfur checks out, that means that the indium is gonna check out as well. Um, and indium, if we see, indium's over here. And look at that. It's in its plus three uh, group, right? It's in group 13 or 3A. So everything's all good here. We did it. Indium was a plus three charge when it made this compound. That means that it lost, each indium uh, lost three electrons. I just put E minus to say electrons. And then each sulfur gained two electrons when this compound was made. And that's it. Guys, how easy is that? I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? <laughs> Um, I hope this helped. If it did, click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you'd like, and we got tons more chemistry problems. Check out our playlists uh, for all the questions that we've done. Chances are we've done something similar that, you know, you guys are doing in, in your class. And yeah, I hope you guys are studying hard and let me know how you're, how you're doing in your class. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.